I have bipolar type 1 and that's the bipolar that has a little bit more mania than depression with it and I've had about five episodes of psychosis since I was diagnosed. For me I get some kind of grandiose delusion sometimes like I'm the only one that could save the world in some massive tragedy. Psychosis really does exist on a spectrum. So, you know, when we say psychosis, what we're typically referring to is, you know, often people will have hallucinations, right? Um, like hearing voices other people don't hear. They might have beliefs that aren't in keeping with reality. This program is important because it is such a distressing time for young people and families to be experiencing early symptoms or even late symptoms of psychosis. It's very disruptive. Yeah, it's very scary. It's like living in a nightmare. Just to see her turn into this, this alter ego and behave in a way that's irrational, it's really scary and it's, it's hard for a whole family. And it's the anticipation of it happening again is also scary and that's kind of where the FP team comes in. We provide psychoeducation groups, which might talk, you know, focus on topics such as what are psychotic symptoms, what might be your relapse prevention plan, and red flags and triggers. I would reach out. You can't do it on your own. Like for Gabby, bipolar is a huge. It affects her whole life. So as much support as you can get, it, it, it helps. I think it really brings people together too, to show you that you're not alone in this struggle. And it takes a village to help someone through mental illness. You need tons of support and they have support here.